Hello Star Wars fans and collectors, it's me Jeremiah 98 back again with another Star Wars review. In today's Star Wars review we're going to be taking up now another Star Wars comic. It's this one, it is Star Wars Age of the Rebellion Heroes. Now this is another comic that focuses on four characters, Luke, Leia, Han and Lando Calrissian. And it goes through all different adventures throughout the original trilogy. Now at the front You've got images of Han, Leia, Luke and Lando in action. I'll just show you the other parts of the comic. So you've got Age of Rebellion Heroes in the middle. If I turn the page, you've got stuff there. And then it focuses it on the stories. Now, Leia's one is between the events of The Empire Strikes Back and Jedi. So... Uh, just show you a couple of pages here. It just shows you how Leia and Chewie are coping after Han Solo's carbonite freeze in The Empire Strikes Back. And it shows you brief images and stills on what Leia and Chewie are going through. And we also see Lando Carizin involved as well. And in this comic book we also see her in her Boosh Bounty Hunter disguise, which is always cool. It just shows you obviously Lando trying to We'll see, persuade and make deals as he usually does with his smuggling routes, and it just gives you an indication on what's going on. They're trying to find the best way possible to uh, keep on going despite harm being frozen in carbonite, and it also does uh, give you flash points as well, which is uh, very, very good as, good as well. And um, it just gives you an indication on what's going on. And there's a few other familiar faces in this as well. We see Bosk, the bounty hunter. Obviously, he was in the uh, the Empire Strikes Back, and he was also in the Clone Wars TV show as well, played by uh, D. Bradley Baker. And uh, yeah, just gives you an indication of what's going on. Obviously, they capture Chewie, and uh, I think eventually, when you read into this, they sort of make a deal with Bosk and everything to get the right method. And the right uh, offer on the table to work and everything. And you just see Leia as a character. And obviously Lando as a character come a long way. And helping each other despite things going a little bit bad at the start in Empire. But obviously Lando redeemed himself and everything. And it just gives you an indication on what's going on and everything. You see the, what happens to the characters. And then eventually Chewie's rescued and uh, they go on to uh, Return of Jedi, which is very, very cool. Next up, we're to be taking a look at Han Solo. Before I take a look at it, it gives you an indication on layer and everything. Next up is Han Solo. Now Han Solo, similar, it's uh, just after the events of a new hope and they brought up the Death Star, you see them get their credits and rewards and Chewie and Han are thinking where they're going to go to next despite what's going on, obviously Luke tries to uh, persuade them to stay but obviously they want to go their own route and everything and it just gives you an indication on what's going on obviously they travel to different parts and everything and Han Soto re an old crew of his that used to work with and they want to try and obviously split a deal that suits them best to try and um, get what they want really and it just gives you an indication on what's going on obviously moving stuff to the outer rim uh, and everything different parts of the galaxy but it doesn't help as well when some of them are firing their blasters out of nowhere and obviously they encounter enemy resistance which is nothing to uh, be alarmed about but obviously you don't want to be doing that and everything and then we see Chewie in action and everything, we see the crew get captured and then we eventually see Han thinking right I want to go back and help them they eventually go back and help them and eventually they uh, go on their own way really obviously despite delivering the supplies as well to obviously their uh, their colleagues and everything which they want and everything it's kind of like a relief effort really for parts of the rebellion and stuff like that and it just gives you an indication there on obviously who Han Solo is and everything. So you have a hero. Moving on. We're going to take a look at Lando Carizian. Obviously Lando Carizian 
obviously we know from the Empire Strikes Back. And his summary of this part of his comic just gives you an indication on what he's doing for his workers and what he's trying to obviously produce and give a better outcome to uh, people in need and everything. And you see Lando go on an adventure there trying to figure out what's the best way to obviously help his people. Obviously they're, uh, they mention uh, a few things, obviously what uh, Lando's good at, obviously he's good at Sabak and obviously good games and everything, trying to persuade his opponent to obviously win at all costs and everything. And he just encounters a group of aliens and obviously tries to uh, persuade them and obviously help them to uh, just help him really. And obviously um, Lando and the alien crew that is aboard the ship. They work together to rescue natives that have been captured in a uh, sort of relatively large ship that's uh, holding prisons and everything. And we see Lando's sort of conscience come together. Like, you think Lando's all about greed and everything, but he just wants to make it possible for him to uh, make a quick earner and everything. And he eventually helps the uh, natives there who are all captured and eventually goes along his own way. And gets what he's bargained for, which is obviously elfing himself and eventually delivering to the people just there, which gives you an indication. So he does have something after all. And you've also got an indication there on what's going on. The last bit we're going to take a look at is Luke Skywalker, obviously the hero of the original trilogy. And this uh, focuses on a an Imperial support vessel in the outer rim somewhere. We see Skywalker taking down a couple of Imperial security droids and everything. And obviously encountering him with a few rebel soldiers and everything. We see Palpatine and Vader involved saying what we're going to do with Skywalker and everything. So this is just before I believe the events of Return of the Jedi and everything. The adventures beforehand. And uh, we see what's happening. We see Luke board his X-Wing and everything. So he's also in the uh, pilot's position as well helping his troops and helping his men. And we see a load of uh, rebel pilots getting taken out by Imperial fighters and everything. We sort of see Luke's emotional side, that sort of caring, charismatic young man who's similar way to his father. He wants to help people. He wants to be the best for people. He wants to be like a leader to stand up upon and everything. And obviously the Emperor wants to try and manipulate him as best he can to turn him to the dark side and everything. Um, so there's more stuff there happening and everything, different parts as well. The Emperor's trying his best to get his way on Skywalker and trying to obviously manipulate him like he usually does and everything. And we see Luke stand up to it, we see a conscience, we see sort of right, I'm going to do what's best for everyone and just not be selfish, not do what the Jedi uh, tend not to do. Obviously the Sith are selfish, they don't care. Whereas Luke isn't, he cares for people, he wants to do his best, he wants to try and make the ultimate sacrifice to make him as good as he can really. And this gives you an indication on what Luke's charismatics are and his charisma is really, and that goes a long way in everything. It gives you an indication of the path of the Jedi, what Skywalker's all about and everything. And just the last bit just gives you an indication of some new comics as well, gives you an indication on obviously... Yoda's adventure, what he's going through on Dagobah, it's a flashback to uh, Revenge of the Sith. And we also see a, sh a shot which is very cool, which is obviously Luke becoming the sort of the new hope and everything to uh, try and restore the Jedi to their balance and everything. And there's uh, just a few other stuff and everything which is nothing too, uh, too major. Um, the other parts as well, uh, indication. Gives you an indication of stories behind the scene, images of the characters and everything, which is very, very cool. And it just gives you an indication on what these uh, comics are about, really, and stuff. Got some lovely shots of our characters and other stuff as well to look at, really. And obviously, something at the back, which is very cool. But nevertheless, I hope you've got a good shot of the uh, Star Wars Age of Rebellion Heroes. Um, thank you very much for taking your time to watch this review. I'll be back with one more Star Wars comic review and then we'll go on to other things in the near future on the channel. Thank you very much for watching the channel. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel, follow me on Facebook and Instagram and as always take care, look after yourself and may the force be with you.